Yo, what's going on guys? It's Alex and welcome back to the brand new video and uh, we are currently in episode 3 of our series called Airbnb, Airbnb V 2.0 So basically we're redoing um, the Airbnb tutorials because Airbnb as you may know uh, updated their website and they updated it a couple of times since we've started um, you know the series but we are gonna start off how we started in the first tutorial. So, um, in the first tutorial, we created this logo. Right now, it doesn't say uh, Airbnb anymore, but we're gonna <laughs> keep that. Uh, and then we, in the second tutorial, we created this search bar, which we also did, and that, in my opinion, looks really well. And what we're gonna be doing in this tutorial is we're gonna be creating this navigation menu. So let's get right into the tutorial. And I really hope that this is really a short tutorial so something is messed up here let me just see because I had to redo I had to restart the tutorial uh, but yeah so we're gonna start off by creating an ordered list um, and then we're gonna you know create the allies and the links to the pages so I'm just gonna say you know pound sign for everything and the links are become a host so Become a host, close the anchor tag, close the li list, uh, anchor, href, found sign, uh, help, it's help, okay. Close the anchor tag, close the list tag, open the list, open the anchor tag, pound sign, uh, help, sign up, and log in. Alright, so sign up. And finally, log, oops, uh, pound sign, and finally log in. Close our list tag like this. Let's preview what we have. So, obviously, this looks really ugly. And, you know, with our essentials, we uh, have said that we don't want these dots for the unordered list. So that's why you might be wondering. Um, but yeah, so let's get right, in, right into the styling, but actually first I want to give them a class or actually do I need a class? No, I don't need a class. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say search wrapper. What is it? Um, top nav. I'm just going to target it. Top nav UL. And then I'm going to say, oh, we're, we're going to need something else here, but that's going to be in the future when we add the padding. So later on in the tutorial. So top nav ul li display inline block. Now they should be all on one line. Let's see the different margins. Oh, okay. So th there is padding because you can see how. Well, that's that's kind of bad because I can still click on that. Um, we're gonna say margin like 30 pixels. So margin zero 30 pixels. And that seems uh, about right, okay. And let's uh, of course align. So we're gonna say float right. Now let's just give this a class of. I thought I had a class of clear fix, uh, but you know in the in our essentials that we set up, we defined clear fix right here. And basically, I have a whole video on that. You can go ahead and check it out. I think it was called CSS Grid. How to make a CSS grid system, I think. I'm not sure, but you can go ahead and check it out. Uh, I explained it, um, you know, why we add clear fixes and what they're for. All right, so now that we've added that, um, we can say, we can start styling, you know, the anchor tag. So, ULLIA link, okay, cool, link. And I'm not sure what color that is, so I'm going to inspect it. Okay, uh, I'm gonna plug it. Oh, no, no, no. Hold on. I'm gonna close this off. Inspect. And there we go. Background color. I don't care about the background color. Border bottom. But why does it not become a. Oh, that's a button? It, no, wait, no. It's not a button. Why? Oh, for it, for it, for it. All right. 
And then font size 14 pixels. Cool. So color font size 14 pixels. And now we're gonna define top nav ul li a and then we're gonna define the visited and color no four eight four eight four eight and there we go so we're almost done but as you can see it's not really like aligned at, yeah it's not really a, like aligned vertically uh it is aligned you know horizontally but not vertically so that's what we're going to be doing right now so well, let's check out the whole padding of the website like the height so let me check the inspect and can I do like no I want I want to kind of um try to get this so it's 58 pixels high uh, not high hey tall so 58 pixels all right now this is what we're going to do from 58 we're going to subtract 14 add is 44 and we're going to divide 44 into 2 which is 22 so we're going to say margin 22 pixels is real oh not here not in the visit of course i want to do it in the link actually that's stupid because i wanted to give it to the well not to the link and i guess a little bit less let's try padding And then, uh, um, what was it? Not border box. Um, I mean, the it is border box, but what was it? Border box. Can't remember what it was. Uh, box or something. Box sizing border box. Yes. Okay, that did nothing. Okay, so now we're gonna try obviously something a little bit less because I guess there's padding somewhere, but I don't really know where. So we're gonna try twenty. Nope, um, 16, nope, 14, okay, hold on, mm, okay, uh, let's try 17, 18, okay, 17 is what we want, but for some reason there's padding here again, which I can swear to God that it wasn't there in the last tutorial. So let's see, we're calling middle. Like, I don't really understand what's the problem. Let me, let me remove this and see what's gonna happen. We're just going line middle. That's really weird. Okay, so I guess it's something from like from the form. So what we can do to the form? Hmm. All right, let's add box sizing border box to the form, which did absolutely nothing. Um. That's really weird. Well, basically we are done with the tutorial, so you know I can actually is it thirty pixels? Might be 25. You know what? I'm gonna change it to 25 pixels. Um, 25 pixels. Okay. Um, that was a mistake. 25 pixels. Yeah. Okay. That seems about right. Oh wait. Let's see if there's any hover effect. No. Nothing. All right. So I mean, as you can tell, we are finishing this tutorial. I'm gonna try and fix it off um off camera. And when I do fix it, I'm gonna make sure to report it in the next video. So. Yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.